yourself up. Now this video topic will be about why are you so soft and so weak? Let's get into it. Now we all have our bad times. We've all had times where we look back and we wonder like why was I acting that way? I want you right now to look at yourself and ask why don't I have what I want? And if excuses come out, but just excuses, not a single solution, not a single confidence in what you can achieve, you're being weak. Because if I've learned anything from reading, watching, doing, learning from my mistakes, it's our beliefs dictate what we are going to do. And if you have a strong belief, you're going to be more aggressive, stronger, more decisive, and therefore have a higher percentage of getting what you want. I saw, I have a picture on my phone. Yeah, I can't show you because I'm using my phone right now to record. It's Michael Jordan in the air about to dunk the ball. And it's written, I failed over and over and over again, and that is why I succeed. I want you to embody that. Because I've read reports of psychologists and what they heard and dealt with their clients. And the number one thing people seem to, uh, to just regret in their lives is not doing things. And they wanted to, because they were either afraid or weren't willing to put the sacrifice to get it. They weren't regretting the mistakes they made. They were regretting the mistakes they weren't willing to make. Society is getting weaker and weaker as time goes. As time goes, and people get weaker. Strong people, people who have things, people who have value, will become more and more important. It's why the whole on balance in the dating market where so many women just want to date the top 10 to 20 percent of men there is too much mediocrity going around men sure they've had it tough okay they're not being helped to be strong but you have the choice to look at yourself and say i want to be strong if you look in the mirror and you ask yourself what do i want you shouldn't want to be on equal terms with People, you should want to be better, because when you're better, you can have more, you can do more, you can give more. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't believe everyone's equal. It's not. Hierarchies are made so you know who can do what, at what level, and are they worth it. If everyone was the same, how would you know who's the best? If you had a surgery going on for a family member, someone you cared about, or yourself, would you not want it the best? Or would it be okay just to hire someone who's never done a surgery in their life and just finished school to do surgery on your heart? Being the best has a kick to it. There exists good and bad in everything. But if you aspire to be the best you can, you will get more out of it. You have to stop being so weak. You're not hard on yourself enough. And sometimes you're just too hard on yourself. We're not even knowing why. Like, it's one thing having standards for yourself. It's another thing where you have so many standards, but you're not even willing to do half of them. That's like your brain twisting things like, oh, it, your brain's telling you, you have what it takes, but you're not going to do it because of reasons. It's like, like very high tech way your brain is fucking you over. It's going to tell you, like, oh, here's all the things we want to do. And because we haven't done it yet, it's for X, Y, and Z. So you feel like, oh, I can do this stuff. Oh, I'm going to have lots of stuff later. Because I have this huge list, but you're not doing anything. Why? 
I see it a lot. Guys who don't care about their physical bodies. You know what that does to you mentally? Knowing that you cannot protect yourself. It makes you weak. It makes you have a weak character. And I'd rather a guy who's fucking weak and skinny and built himself up to be strong, aggressive, and intimidating than have some fucking punk who was bored with everything. Physically. He's strong, naturally. But the moment things get tough, the moment he loses at something, he's gonna fucking break down and cry like a little bitch. You see it alone, guys, who are your bullies, or guys who try to act all tough in the alpha shit. The guys who act the toughest and most aggressive for no fucking reason are usually the guys that break down the fucking easiest and don't get back up the moment something bad happens. They lash up, they cry, they bitch and whine and complain. There's nothing strong about that. There's nothing strong about that. You have to analyze yourself and catch yourself when you're fucking yourself over, when you're being a little bitch, when you're being not logical, you're not making sense, man. So what if a girl just wasn't into you? You know how many girls are out there? Maybe you just need to put yourself out there more. You know, take care of yourself, make yourself actually have fucking value. You can have more, but you need to actually be capable of getting it, capable of keeping it, and getting it again if you lose it. Like, what would you want? Like, things in his life, to have anything, you need to change something about you. The way you think, what you do, how often you do it. If you're not willing to do that, you will be a weak little coward for the rest of your life. You will feel ashamed. And that's a horrible feeling. It's like... It's, it's weird how it works, okay? It's weird how it works, but like... Think of this. A man learns how to fight. Isn't fighting, or maybe he is, because fighting is pretty fun. He isn't learning how to fight to get into battle. Some will, some won't. But the reason, the principle behind learning how to fight is when confrontation happens. You have the confidence and the strength to keep a cool frame and to handle it. That aura that you'll give will make it so fights are going to happen less and people are going to respect you more. And don't you fucking want that? Well, that takes something. It takes some sort of courage. It takes some sort of character. And when you become stronger... You're building courage. Actually, no. When you're building character, when you're becoming stronger, you're finding out how strong you actually fucking are. So stop being weak and soft. Stop crying and moping around. Finances, they matter, man. Your looks, they matter. Your body, it matters. Your character, it matters. But your fucking... Your standards, your future... It matters, so give a shit about it. Like, actually act, like you give a shit. Someone's saying, I want to be the best, but wake up late and don't do that much work, you're not acting like it. You can't let your brain trick you by saying things that you want, but not doing it, not getting them. You have to be strong, there's too many goddamn guys who are soft and weak out here. Guys, if you took a punch in the face, they'd cry and stay on the floor and not not swing back. You can't be one of them. You can't be one of them, otherwise you'll hate your life. And re the reason right now you don't have the things you want is because you probably were doing the same shit you were the past five years. But hey, if you're afraid of change, man, right, you can be afraid of it. Still, go towards it. Because as many successful people have said, the most growth, the most progress you make in life is when you're putting yourself in situations that are uncomfortable. Whether it be spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially. Get with it. Don't forget to like the video. Share, comment, subscribe. Stop crying on your fucking pillow. Stop texting that girl that's not into you. She's probably being fucked by another guy yourself a new girl and her while the guy should have hit her up while she's by you and i'll see you in the next video choose yourself out